recipes that only require one pot or one pan because who likes doing dishes? Do you like doing dishes? No. Right, let's get real, right? Please welcome Claire Tansy, Chatelaine Magazine. We don't want to do dishes. I love that. Like, no. No. We don't like dishes. Can we don't like dishes. dishes. Yeah, they it are. should be the rule that the person that does the cooking does not do the dishes. I agree, except that, you know, I love it when my boyfriend makes dinner, but he also makes a mess. Yeah. So it's sort of like you get screwed, you yeah, know, you whichever do. way. <laughs> you do. Sorry, you don't sorry, win. world. Yeah, you don't you win. You don't win. Yes, yeah, so this is the solution. This Make dinner solution. that only requires one pan or one pot. And they look like really good recipes as well. So there's a couple of them. Brussels sprouts, which you've done in the only way I can possibly accept them. Yeah. <laughs> you've made them look like cabbage. Exactly. Well, they well, really are I know cabbage, they are teeny, right? Teeny tiny little cabbages. Teeny tiny little but cabbages. I, just, I look at the ball and I just think of being in grade two again and my mom making I me. Know. I know. Sit there and eat them, and they got cold, and I, I had to eat them anyways. It was a bad scene. Okay, do we need to call Dr. Karen? I in? feel like I might need her. Okay. Yes. All right. Well, it's going to be all right because <sighs> Brussels sprouts. Um, yes, truly the most un, um, unloved vegetable. It's a I little think. maligned. It's that pretty veggie. maligned, and, yeah. and, un, and unfortunately so. So what we did with Brussels sprouts is we said, you know what? They are cruciferous vegetable. They're like an antioxidant. They are so good for you. How can I make you love them? Yeah. I can shred them and cover them with Caesar salad dressing. That makes me happy. Right? Exactly. So I like that. what we do with this? Now you can do this with a knife, but I have talked about this my little friend before. This is a twenty-five to thirty dollar. Uh, piece of kitchen kit. It's yep. called a mandolin. Mm -hmm. It has a very safe little guard that you use and you just, you, you really, you do use it when you get down to the bed. But you send your Brussels sprout through the mandolin and it ends up like that. Perfection. Who wouldn't want to eat that? Yeah, that's good. So you do that with a ton of Brussels sprouts and you get this lovely pile. You're welcome. Would you like to try? Would you like to try? Oh, why'd you have to throw that out there? Oh, okay, no, sure. okay, yes, okay. I can't yes, wait you to do. try some. Okay, you mm. can, yeah. I no, actually, they're not bad. I actually meant you want to try doing this. Oh, I don't even have dressing on that yet. Give it's a girl a chance. It's actually not that bad, though. You know what? It's more the thought of them than actual eating and them. And honestly, that's bad. the reason why people don't like them is because they always had them overcooked. Yeah. And so that musty, cabbagey, mm -hmm. overcooked mm -hmm. smell. No, this is raw and crunchy and full of yeah. great flavor. And I'm gonna make a simple Caesar salad dressing, which is a bit of anchovy. Again, another misunderstood ingredient. Yeah, I like anchovy those. gives body gives incredible healthy fish oils, right? Mm -hmm. So great way to sneak them in, especially when you mix them up with some garlic. And then uh, a little bit of light mayo, some uh, mustard. Yeah. I don't know what that was. I'm looking at that ingredient <laughs> going, what on earth is that? And I use it every day. <laughs> and olive oil. So you make a really simple Caesar salad dressing. And then could you add my friends the Brussels sprouts, please? Absolutely. So get in there, yeah, guys. Go, go, go. We're also going to have a protein with this uh, with yes. this dish. Yes. Now, absolutely, you do not. Do you want all? Yes, please. Okay. Yeah, we're going for it. It's going to be delicious. Oh, yummy. There you and go. And then you see that wasn't really that much dressing in there. It's really delicious. If you could just keep going on that, I will tell you about this is just our old friend chicken. Yeah. Pan fried. So there's your one pan. Again, you don't have to put this in. Or if you want to throw in some leftover chicken from last night or some rotisserie chicken that you bought at the store, yep. that's a great way to do it. Then you've got your bacon. Why not? Yum. Parmesan. Oh, go for Why it. Why not? And there you have a Caesar salad with chicken. And honestly, Brussels sprouts, You've never had them like this, and you're gonna love them. This is really good. The dressing was actually really quite healthy as well. So this is a good Caesar. A lot of people yeah. think Caesar, and they think stay away. This yes. is a non-diet exactly. friendly no. food. And that's why it's, it's like this is like the misunderstood ingredient show. So Caesar <laughs> dressing that you get when you go out to a restaurant, yes, it's usually full of either mayonnaise or lots of fat or all kinds of other unhealthy things. When you make it at home, of course, you can control all of that, that's right? right? Yeah. To make it good for you. Exactly. So that's recipe number one. So there's your Monday night. Then for Tuesday night, we're going to do one pan Provençal roasted salmon. See how fancy that sounds? Oui, just very fancy. I love that. So these are just little baby potatoes that I've cut up into pieces. Whole beautiful tomatoes. You know, you can get those anywhere. Yeah. A zucchini or two. Mm -hmm. And then. Oh, come out. Oh, come. It would just stuck at the. We're going to roast these babies? We're going to roast these. And so we're going to start by roasting these. Could you give me a little bit of salt and pepper on there? I, I sent you in the wrong direction. Yeah, yeah I was right. Yeah. 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 Uh, and what I'm going to do is add a little bit of this herb blend. This is Herbs de Provence. 
Yes, oh, I, I love said that, that like stuff. an angle. Herbe de Provence. Oui. It's <laughs> very good. Excellent. Mm -hmm. A little bit of that. And it's a mixture of like thyme and a little bit of lavender. It's really lovely. Yeah. Buy a bottle. Keep it in the pantry. It lasts forever. I like that on fish. Well, I use it quite a lot on fish. Guess what this is? Fish. Fish. It's salmon, everybody. Know. So you roast this for about 15 minutes, just uh -huh. the vegetables, and then you make yourself a little spot in the middle and slap our old friend salmon. That's a good looking piece of salmon right there. A little there. bit, I know, isn't it though? Yeah, I like it. And that, you know, I gotta say, that is a pound of salmon, so you, that is enough for four people. Yeah, it is. I know, I know. People hate to hear me say that, Divvy but there it, it is. A little bit of salt and pepper. Oh, I forgot about the olives. How are we gonna make it Provencal if we don't throw the olives in there? Nice. Another about 10, 15 minutes, one pan. And if you put the parchment down, no cleanup. So good. I awesome. like I like this meal a lot. Love it. Me too. This is a favorite. Recipe. All time favorite. We're putting all the recipes on our website. That's cityline.ca. Big hand for Claire. I